I hope this lighting is good. I also hope this audio is set because I can't stop this video and try the audio again. Hi guys, how you doing? You guys, today my husband is home and this is a rare opportunity for me to actually sleep all day or at least rest really well. But no, here I am, okay? Here I am. Ibo girl, like money too much. <laughs> Uh, not just that. Actually, I was trying out this new setup and I was like, let me just see what this setup looks like. And then I sat down and I was like, let me just film a video. What's the point? Why am I just testing it out for another day? I can just sit down and film a video. So yeah, today I'm going to be answering some of your questions that I got about my relocation to the UK. Okay, so I'm actually going to put the questions in different categories. I'll try and answer similar questions together and any topic that I get several questions on i'm going to put it in a different video like i'll categorize them and put them in separate videos okay but what do you guys think about this new setup it reminds me of something similar that i had in nigeria so let me know okay i don't know i'm just like this you guys let me even debate some more i'm gonna say a little bit but i'm already debated so you guys i was like okay this week was gonna be a productive week i'm gonna film videos just wake up, take my kids to school, come back, do my makeup, sit down, film my videos, edit, ha huh, pew, 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 pew. That was how one giant pimple just appeared on my nose. Boom! <laughs> and that pimple has been stressing my life. It's so painful and it was so big. Right now it has gone down because last night I tried to, you know, do some things to it to reduce the swelling and all of that. But instead of me to cover it up with makeup today, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna bring my face the way my face is, okay? It's not only, oh, you're glowing, you're glowing. You guys should come and see. Come and see that pimples are disturbing me right now. But anyway, let me just jump into some questions. So I think the questions I'm going to be answering today are questions regarding housing, accommodation, and stuff like that, okay? So I'll just give you guys a brief story about how we got this house and things surrounding this house. Then I'll try and answer any specific house questions that you guys already sent okay that's anyone that my story hasn't answered i'll answer it differently okay anyway let me just start from how we got this house so while in nigeria after my husband left in fact before my husband left we were looking for house okay and there was one particular house that i just saw and i liked the house immediately okay so when i saw that house i was like this is good in fact i was calling it my house in fact my husband was even calling it my house okay because i liked that house fun fact it's not this house okay so i liked that house so much and i saw that the house was available so once my husband arrived here in november he started looking for the house like you know contacted the agent the house was available then he applied for the house and we got the house okay in quotes we got the house and we were just waiting for payment so we were all set i was like <laughs> so after we were told that they were going to give us the house for renting okay you know i think our start date was supposed to be december 15th if i remember correctly it was supposed to be december 15th okay and we were supposed to come on december 25th so i was like everything will work out fine we'll just come straight into our new house there will be no need for us to go to the temporary accommodation first before we now come here we'll just go straight into our house so i was really really happy i really liked the house okay and one of the reasons why i liked the house is because it was quite close to my husband's place of work okay because fun fact where we stay now is like 40 minutes 45 minutes on google map it says 35 minutes but you guys know how these things work okay so let's just say in reality it's about 45 minutes for my husband to get from here to his workplace and i didn't like that because my husband has never really had a job where he was going to work every single day at least since we are, since i met him he had never really had a job where he was going to work like every day wake up in the morning go to work come back in the evening no so I didn't I, I wasn't comfortable with the fact that okay when you're now restarting it you're now driving long journey like i wanted something that's just like 15 minutes you know max 20 minutes that kind of thing and that house that we got was 15 minutes away from his workplace we couldn't even get a place around his workplace because his workplace is a very remote area it's a village okay so all these villages that one house is here then the next house is like seven seas across <laughs> so we couldn't get a house there we wanted the nearest city to his workplace okay now the nearest city to his workplace or the nearest 
big big ish city to his workplace is actually where we are right now but there is a smaller city that is quite good that is also close there so that house was in that smaller city but it was a beautiful house four bedroom um almost the same spec with this house basically almost the same spec with this house i think they have some rooms there that were bigger although my husband when he went and saw both houses he was like eh, the difference is not much yes that house had okay the advantage that house had was that their rooms had inbuilt wardrobe inbuilt wardrobes okay and i i don't understand the concept of not building in of not putting inbuilt wardrobes i don't get it okay i don't i don't understand it <laughs> so yeah that house had inbuilt wardrobes i know the thing about inbuilt wardrobes is that even though it might take some space from the room it is not as cluttering as a standalone wardrobe or just like putting a wardrobe inside the room i don't know if that makes sense but anyway so that was why i wanted that house so we're just set waiting for payment only for one week to the time to get the house first of all the first inkling that i had that things were not going as smoothly was that my husband was the one that kept asking them okay when are you sending the invoice they're like don't worry we're gonna send this soon once everything is set we're gonna send this soon because the landlord was still living in the house when we got the house okay so even when my husband went to look at the house the landlord's things were still there and the landlord was supposed to move out so people that keep saying uk houses are furnished uk houses are furnished what do you mean by uk houses are furnished i rarely saw houses that were furnished when i say rarely i mean rarely even the one that we saw <laughs> that you know that we were about to get they were supposed to even remove their fridge like they were supposed to remove the fridge from that house i was already saying ah thank god i even took my fridge oh they were supposed to remove the fridge they were supposed to remove the washer from that house anyway so we were just thinking okay the landlord has not yet moved out that let's just be waiting uh -uh. one week to the time they now sent my husband an email that you know sorry there's something that went on with the landlord he's not they're not yet ready um they pulled out last minute so we cannot you know pay for the house again when my husband told me this thing he pained me oh he pained me because <laughs> again like i said i was calling that house my house so it actually pained me but i mean what can we do now it's not like what can you do you 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 will be there talking about someone else's house so we decided to just you know dive back in in fact i think it took us like two weeks first of all to just for like two weeks we were just dumbfounded we didn't just do much about looking for a house but after that we now started looking for a house again so that was how my husband got three options so okay yeah something i forgot to mention is that the company actually provided us with um are they realtors i don't know if i'll call them realtors like people that took him around the city to give him a tour of the city and they also gave us like a list of housing options like they asked him okay what kind of houses are you looking for he told them so they now looked for houses for us and just gave us the options and told us okay go and check all these options you know anyone you like then we'll go and view the house okay so surprisingly number one on that list that the company sent to us was the house i had already been looking at from nigeria before my husband even got here so i was already like confirmation confirmation <laughs> I was already like confirmation, you know, you know. Anyway, so after the house fell through now, we had to now go back to the other options that my husband saw. Because they sent us six houses, and out of the six houses, only three we are, you know, very close to our spec. One was a five bedroom, I mean like four rooms and one uh big box room or something, okay, whatever. Then the other one was actually a three bedroom but it was a brand new house like never been lived in okay but we didn't want three bedroom it was three bedroom and two baths but we just we just did not want three bedrooms okay so but we were like what are we going to do now so now that you know that number one had fallen through let us try number two and number three my husband went back to look at number two again and number three and then he now started checking again online to just you know see other options and that was how we got this option okay when my husband showed me this option to be honest i didn't really like this house i don't know why the house was beautiful the house was okay but i just didn't i don't know maybe because my mind was already stuck on that other house when i was looking at pictures of this house i was like yeah it's fine it's okay it's okay i wasn't like excited or you know looking forward to it i was like mm, it's fine but we were actually leaning more towards this house because again it is four bedrooms instead of the three bedrooms and this is also a new house even though the previous owner had lived here briefly so let me give you the story about this house 
okay so this house is in a new estate in fact in this estate some houses are still being built okay so if you're walking around this estate you're going to see like tractors sometimes passing and there's some areas in this estate that if you walk down to you'll see that their houses are all completed like there's vast land and then there are all completed buildings there and they are working on those buildings okay so it's a very very clean new environment even though i didn't know about that part while we were i mean it was online now so i didn't know about that part right so what happened was that the owner of this house actually built this house to live in okay because if you look at the details of this house very well you will see that this house was like furnished to taste it wasn't just furnished for rental purposes it was furnished to taste like furnished to a tea okay so he built this house and he was supposed to live in this house and then he moved in and shortly after he moved in he was transferred out of the uk okay as a, entirely out of the uk and then we we were transferred into the uk so basically it was almost as if they transferred him out and then his house was now left for the next people that were transferred in okay they don't work for the same company or anything though. the man and my husband not even work in the same like industry or anything but you know he was transferred out of the uk for his job my husband was transferred into the uk for his job as well so that was one detail about the house that just made me say mm, okay mm, yeah maybe it's fate okay so you guys while i was editing this video something just prompted me to come and check my vision board for last year and i don't have a vision board this year story for another day okay but this was my vision board last year and just just you guys this thing is, is shocking me okay just look at this garden picture i put here right doesn't this garden picture look like my garden now like the garden i have in this house now just look at the picture very well let me come closer just look at it look at the fence look at the position, positioning of that house if you watch my um house store video you will see the garden the garden looks like this garden okay just stay with me yo. now look at this living room look at the center table of this living room like what drew me to this picture was actually the mirror in the background and the uh, lamp right because on a normal day, I would not buy a center table like this. In fact, I don't buy center tables, okay? Because of my kids. Like, to me, it's not worth it for right now, okay? Anyway, just look at this center table. I would never have bought... I would never have bought a center table that looks like this. But this, that is coffee table, whatever. But this one looks exact... Not exactly, but it looks very similar to the one I have in my living room right now in this house. You guys, this is still shocking me, just stay with me just stay with you okay now obviously not everything on this vision board worked out the way i wanted it okay like well yeah well now just look at this is a new car last year what happened we had to get a new car that's ending of last year okay you guys just stick with me oh hmm. now look at this thing i put these pictures here as pictures of places i want to go to and i wanted to go there for free that was why i put this free trip here like that's why i put this free here because i wanted to go there for free i was looking for free trip i was like anyhow anyhow i want to share travel in 2023 without my money okay and guess what now last year i didn't go on vacation per se but the two countries i traveled to which were canada and uk i i went on those trips for free i did not pay for my flight tickets i stayed in my sister's house for canada trip and you know uk here is my house okay so i didn't pay anything for those trips and just look at it even though yes what i wanted was free uh what is the name vacations and stuff but i mean i mean and i chose only two pictures so if i know i for add plenty more okay <laughs> you guys after this video i'm going to make another vision board okay and um, what else again is quite similar uh, let's not let's not lie Sha. let's not lie let's not lie sister let's not lie uh, this one uh, okay okay let's not lie Sha. but <laughs> but at least i mean being able to achieve will i say 60 percent or 70 percent of, of your vision board i mean come on come on come on also speaking of this garden right now the reason why i put this garden picture was i wanted this to be eva's fifth birthday in school this was supposed to be her birthday decoration for last year okay and this was the picture that i felt you know closely resembled what i wanted to do like with the palette and the um dessert um, truck or whatever here right now that i'm looking at it who are all these white children <laughs> and eva's class eva's school only white children that are there we don't have any black in eva's school only eva is the only uh black child in her school who are all these white children here in this garden like 
<laughs> okay. Coincidence, Abby. Okay. So after my husband went back to those two other houses that I told you was on our list before, after looking at them, he came here and looked at this house, made a video for me, sent it to me, you know, and just told me all the pros and cons of all the houses that he had gone to. But he was leaning more towards this house. I personally was leaning more towards this house. Okay. So even though we had a newer house, newer in the sense of that house was not furnished and nobody was living in the house, like it was just built brand new in fact the toilet seat still had the wrapper on it right that is the, the house that had the three bedroom the toilet seat still had the wrap on it like everywhere was still brand new cha cha i really liked the house but again it was smaller than this house so we were like let's wear our options the five bedroom was bigger than this house that one no no doubt like the parlor was big the room was big the kitchen was big um not all the rooms so some rooms were just like the rooms here but the master bedroom was quite big but the thing with that house is that the house is not a new house it's not a new build so i think the heating is it the heating or the something one thing one thing was bandi see i don't really know the meaning of all those things it was my husband that was paying attention to those things right but because the house is not a new house and because of the area that the house is in it was going to be more expensive and not more, not more exp the rent was not as expensive as this rent but the other things you pay was more expensive than what we pay here and again it's not a new house so we're like since we already have two new houses option let us focus on the new houses so so yeah we're now turned between the three bedroom brand new house cha cha house and the four bedroom new house okay but not brand new not tear rubber basically <laughs> so yeah that was how we got this one and then when we came to the uk that is me and the kids we used to drive here i think i showed you guys oh no i didn't show you guys but i talked about it in the video we'll just drive here walk around look around you know and then drive back until when we got our key on january 1st okay so we moved into this house officially january first but i say officially because we were still staying in the temporary accommodation okay and the day i the first day we came into this house i was like nope 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 i ain't gonna stay in this house i did not like this house at all not again not a physical problem but there was just a there was something in the air that i didn't just like about this house my spirit did not just feel welcomed in here so what did i do i was like you're not gonna chase me away from this house okay whether an evil spirit or whether i'm waiting with you're not gonna chase me away from this house i'm the one that's going to chase you away so i just started praying speaking in tongues walking around the house praying and declaring praying, praying and declaring and then by day two i be day three i was like yeah i was so happy to be here and you know I, my spirit was now settled but initially the first day i moved into this house eh, i was like no 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 <laughs> i told my husband we're not gonna stay in this house more than one year but god i beg now i'm like i beg i beg i beg please i don't i'm not ready to move in the next one year please moving is stressful i'm not ready to move in the next one year i beg anyway let me try and see your questions and answer as many as i can okay so the first one i can see that is house related someone said now that you settled for a furnished house what will you do with all the furniture you shipped okay somebody replied and said airbnb <laughs> and i have said seriously <laughs> um, so again i i have to reiterate this right i don't even know how to explain this thing because each time i try to explain it i get some comments in my comment section that i'm just like i'm not even in the mood self. whatever whatever like come and carry can and flog me now come and beat me yes i decided to carry carry furniture from nigeria come and beat me <laughs> so anyway i did not carry major furniture from nigeria okay major furniture so i carried like decorative table you know oh my my husband's office furniture i carried my husband's office furniture but every other thing i carried was flower and you can see the flower behind me you can see that lamp that lamp standing there behind me i carried lamp i carried throw pillows i carried decorative tables bench pictures which other furniture did i carry that's it aside my husband's office okay that's that's it okay and tvs okay if you call that one furniture okay that's why i said i didn't carry furniture because i didn't carry chair i didn't carry like i didn't carry couch i didn't carry beds which are major furniture when you talk about you know furniture i didn't carry wardrobe i didn't carry storage units like the wooden frame storage units okay the only things i carried were accessories and decorative stuff okay so most of those things if you watch my house store you will see that most of those things are inside the house and i'm using them right now but the few ones that i am not using things like decorative table now in my nigeria living room tour you will see that there was a table like there was a table behind 
a table that had a mirror and um, decorative stuff on it. Even that flower vase, I brought it from Nigeria, this one, okay? So if you watch that my Nigerian living room tour, you will see that there was one wooden table that I made, okay, from solid wood, right? So that table, I haven't found a place for it yet. I wanted to put it at the entryway, but that entryway, just beside it is a coat hanger, right? Or coat rack or whatever. So I felt like if I put that table and put that coat and leave the coat rack where it is, that place is going to be narrow okay so that's why i did not put it so those things are actually inside my garage okay if we had gone for a non-furnished house in fact those things would have barely been enough okay would have had to still buy a lot of things a lot when i say a lot i mean a lot of things tv stand uh, all these decorations here all this couch and stuff would have had to buy a lot of things okay if we had gotten and the first house that we got that we we're about to pay for was a not was a non funny wasn't a furnished house okay i don't know the english for that the house was not furnished okay yes one question i get a lot i just saw one here now is which cargo company did you use okay so for those who are new to my channel i carried some of my things from nigeria to the uk and also let me before i answer that question also I carried so many things, but I did not carry so many things, okay? In fact, the things I left behind are way, 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 way more than the things that I carried with me to the UK, okay? So some of you, maybe because you saw a big truck, you are thinking that the truck was full of, mm -mm, that truck, a lot of things there were packaging because they had to package those things very well. So they used like multiple cartons and, you know, padding stuff to make it look, that's why, that's why it looks that big, okay? The actual items inside it are not as, many as it might look okay and again inside the container i also carried food stuff i did not carry too much food stuff because food stuff they expire okay because i got a comment saying why are you carrying furniture what you'd have carried is food stuff so i should have carried the whole container of food stuff for me and my children or am i starting food stuff business here <laughs> just for me and my children and my husband i will now carry like maybe five bags of beans or something no so i had to I had to actually use my sense, okay? So I carry things that will be enough for me for like one year, one year plus. I didn't carry like too many things just because I had the space because it would have been a waste. It would have been, except if I had come here and start sharing food for people that I don't even know, okay? Mind you, I'm not in a city where I have friends or I know anybody here. So I wasn't even thinking of other people in mind. I was just thinking of, okay, what can I carry for me and my family that will make sense, that will not go bad? In fact, I think I showed all this part in my video. I actually did, even though I didn't like states in details what i was carrying and, and what quantity okay but i carried like not like i carried three kegs of of red oil and we have not even scratched the surface in fact i'm like this red oil you don't go spoil low. thank god the weather is kind of cold now so they are they are kind of frozen inside the not frozen like but they are congealed inside the um garage okay but i'm like this oil is plenty because we'll not scratch the surface. I melted one keg the other day and poured out the one for cooking, used some to cook and still the keg was still almost full, right? So yeah, even though I carried full stuff, I had to carry with sense. I carried beans, I carried pound dough, lots of pound dough. I carried um, Ijebu Gari, I carried... Okay, no, the, the cargo company, they only allow you carry very dry they specify what, what they allowed us to carry. That is the cargo company now. And also, we were not allowed to carry perishable goods, okay? We were only allowed to carry non-perishable goods and grains, okay? Non-perishable non goods and grains. So that was why I carried beans, I carried gari, I carried poundo, I carried indomie, and then odd bits and bobs here, like just random things that i could carry i carried there yes spices as well i carried some no cubes okay no chicken no beef i carried them inside the container but we had an allowance for food stuff so i didn't just carry it senselessly so yeah i had to carry things that would fit into the allowance that we had for food stuff and it's not that we couldn't carry more if we wanted to you can carry more but you're going to pay <laughs> you're going to pay if you know there was a, i think they said if there's a delay in your shipment due to the things that you carry inside that your shipment you are going to pay for it okay like you are, are going to pay for the demorage you know and we didn't want that we didn't want to start having demorage we didn't want to start having having to pay for any delay we didn't want any delay to start with okay so that was why we just stuck to what we were allowed to carry yeah but even at that we did not even use all our allowance because we were like what's the point you know there's so many things that i carried that was just like sentimental value sentimental value not even because oh i really need those things it was just 
some of those things were sentimental values. I was like, I must carry, you see those my pictures, I must carry them, even though I'm not using them, I must be looking, I must keep them somewhere. <laughs> and yeah, before I forget the main question, the company that we use is called Cresida, okay, or Cresida, or Cresida, okay. Anyway, I'll leave their name on the screen. We did not contact them directly. It was my husband's company that contacted them and sent them to us, okay. The whole cargo stuff and everything was also paid for by my husband's company. So I don't know how much it cost. So I don't know how much anything concerning shipment or whatever or cargo in costs. Okay. So if you decide to contact them, it's between you and them. I don't know anything about the company. Again, I wasn't the one that contacted them personally. Okay. What I would say is that they packaged our things well and our things got to us well. Okay. But yeah, the whole shipment, everything, even the items being delivered to my house, everything was covered by the company. Okay. So yeah, I have to put that disclaimer out there. I don't know anything about price. I don't know anything about their efficiency or back. I just know that they packed our things well and gave us a, a, one or two things actually spoiled not like serious things okay so i had one basket that bent then i had one crate that broke then i had by crate i mean wooden crates okay this wooden crate for like storing stuff or decorative purposes whatever i had one that broke then the legs of one of my my containers i have one container that has legs like you can push it so the legs broke just in one the second one came intact i think the second one somebody removed the legs so that was why it came intact but the one that didn't remove the legs the legs broke um yeah but aside that every other thing that thing now is a is a glass is ceramic flower vase it came intact that, that's my light i bought on amazon last year it came intact so yeah that's it about the cargo company you guys i'm exhausted i don't even know where i'm seeing energy to film this video Okay, let me just answer, this video is going to be very long, but let me just answer some questions about, you know, our things in general, okay? So someone is asking me, what happened to your cars in Nigeria? We sold our cars in Nigeria, okay? So that's basically the only thing we sold. We sold our cars in Nigeria and yeah, that's basically the only thing we sold. Every other thing in the house, we did not sell. We just gave it out to everybody and anybody. <laughs> we gave out we gave out basically anything i did not carry with me to the uk which was a lot we gave them out but majority of the things went to my husband's family and my family okay we just shared it amongst them depending on who needs what more okay so that was how we shared most of the things but every other item in fact a lot of items as well we just gave it out because nobody had energy to send anything like that. and and for me I think it would have even pained me more if I had tried to sell some things and then somebody would not come and quote one kind of useless price for me. I'd rather dash it out, eh? I'd rather, I'd rather dash it out. <laughs> Especially something that I hold dear. I'd rather dash it out than for you to come and price nonsense, okay? So, yeah, we sold our cars and that was it. That's, okay, someone else is asking, Hi Ada, please, is there anything you left behind in Nigeria that you wish to carry to the UK? And is there anything you carried to the UK that you felt was not so needed? Hmm, is there anything I wished I carried? Hey, there was something that recently I was like, I wish I had carried more of this thing. Is there anything I wished I carried? There was something recently that I was like, ah, I wish I had carried more of this thing. I can't even remember what. To be honest, I can't remember what. But I think it was just like one item. I was like, ah, I wish I had known that I brought some. Okay, it was Gary. It was Gary. I did not carry normal drinking Gary. No, not dr I didn't carry normal Eba. Gary for Eba. I carried only... A Jebu Gary, so I had I was wishing that I had carried the normal Eba, okay, because I heard that the Eba here is whether Ghana Eba or something like that. that it's not Ghana Gary or something that's not good. I don't know. Me personally, I don't really have that much attachment to normal Eba. I even prefer using the Jebu Gary as Eba than normal Gary, okay. So, but yeah, Gary, that's the only thing I can think of. But if I remember anything, I'll say it in a different video. I'm sure with time, Sha, because I'm just this is my third month yeah i think this is my third month here okay okay so i'm sure with time i'm going to remember some things but but yeah what i wish i carried nah eh, nah we're good okay now what i carry that i wish i did not carry what did i carry that i wish i did not carry um to be honest i don't even know as well okay because 
even the things that i am not using right now they are not like useless items here it's just that the house we are staying in is already furnished already has those things okay so things like my blender that my good blender in nigeria that was doing so well i carried my blender because <laughs> so i carried that blender right but i'm not using it now because the house we are in actually comes with a blender right however and please nobody should come and tell me nonsense in the comment section okay because you cannot tell me that all the houses in the uk come with their own blender like please don't even don't even try yourself with that kind of useless life from the pit of hell <laughs> okay so if we were not in a furnished apartment and mind you not even all furnished apartment comes with their own blender okay but if we were if we were not in a furnished apartment it would have been more useful than it is right now however the last time i even used this blender I was like, you know what, I'm going to go and wash my blender from where it is and bring it inside this house because I tried to blend something the last time, I think it was, I tried to blend something one time and this blender was just misbehaving, I was like, eh, 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 I don't have time for this, I have a blender that does the job for me very, very well, <laughs> don't even stress me, so I think I'm going to pack up their own blender and go and bring my own, but yeah, so that's why I can't really say what I regret bringing because at the end of the day, the only reason why i am not using some things is just because we are in a furnished house okay so some of cora's clothes cora just went through a growth spot recently so some of cora's clothes are no longer her size as at right now mind you they were her size very well in december but right now they have they are no longer her size okay so i wish i had just given out those clothes in nigeria not they're not even too many just some of those sentimental gowns that i bought recently and i was like i'm not giving this one out okay <laughs> i bought them they were not cheap first of all and then two they were so beautiful to me i was like nah i'm not giving these ones out okay because i still gave out a lot of their clothes in fact 90 percent of my children's clothes i give them out okay 90 percent of all our clothes actually i give them out but there were some gowns that i really really liked and they were quite new that i bought for cora that i brought here right but right now she has outgrown those clothes however because eva is still up, up and coming <laughs> they are not a waste so eva can still wear them but before eva will get to that size like a whole year would have passed okay at least one year will pass before eva will get to that size so i really didn't need to bring those clothes if i had known that cora will outgrow them that quickly okay mind you in a space of three months this is just february we got here in december and the dresses that she actually she even wore them in december all those dresses now are no longer her size so i would say i wish i had just given out those dresses but yeah so far i don't really regret anything i carried or did not carry however like i said this is barely two months okay like i think this is a uh, two months mark or by entering three months anyway so there's still time for me to really think about it yeah another question that i got you know a lot of was someone said did you have to pay extra fee for food items when you got to the airport was it difficult to process or was it a difficult process also roughly how much did you save sending your household items via cargo as opposed to buying new furniture eh if it's this one thousands of dollars now thousands of dollars again again i think one context many people are forgetting is that we did not pay for the cargo okay after at least out of pocket i did not carry my money and pay for cargo my husband did not carry his own money and pay for cargo okay that is the difference many people think that we went to go and carry money and start cargoing our things from nigeria because we don't want to come here and buy furniture no we were not we had a free cargo from the company okay well free in quotes because whether we like it or not they're not doing it for free <laughs> it's for free oh, but you're not doing it for free they know why they, they are doing all those things to to bring you there okay so anyway but yeah like that is the context i think is missing for many people we did not pay one naira for anything okay so we had a free container to carry things why not carry things because it's not like if we had gotten here we're not gonna call the company hey, we don't land or yeah come, come come buy furniture for us now no however we did not carry couch bed which are the most important things mattresses and um, wardrobe stuff like that those are um, um storage units those are the most important things in a house we didn't carry those things okay so as much as they saved us thousands of dollars thousands of pounds we still had to in quotes pay for those things because now part of our house rent is actually the furniture if we really want to think about it the reason why we are paying what we are paying as house rent is because the house came furnished so technically it's not free it's not even technically it's not free like the furniture we're using now is not free the major furniture we're using now is not free but if it's about other things we carry that we could have bought when we we got here ah my dear i can't even quantify it like what so about the did i have to pay extra fee for food items yes i had to pay 
eight thousand naira for the food i nigerian food i, I don't know what is the word i'm going to call them food stuff okay because in my other boxes i had things like godimon milo milk um you know snacks all these nigerian snacks all these peanuts dry mango yeah i had a lot of things in those bags that they actually scanned but they did not ask me to pay anything for i also had cooked food and they did not ask me to pay anything for the cooked food but the bag that had things like a goosey fish dry fish all those nigerian smelly items <laughs> smelling quotes before someone come and vex smelling quotes all those fish uh dry fish crayfish or uh, uh, uziza all those spices and nigerian food stuff i paid eight thousand naira at the airport I just paid, they just gave me certificates. In fact, I paid and went to do other things and they brought the certificate to me. They weighed the bag. So according to the weight of your bag, you will see one list and they will tell you for Soso KG, this is how much, for Soso KG, that is how much, okay? <laughs> I hey God of mercy. I haven't even seen, why didn't I go through these questions? I should have gone through these questions. I just saw one now, eh? And now laugh, they hungry me. Chai, time has passed. This was one month ago. Time has passed. Only film no way. Yeah, because we were, yeah. <laughs> Is that the song? Yes. Only film no way. Yeah, because we were, yeah. Sell and sell. Eh, 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 eh. See, eh? Go and knock your head on the wall. You know yourself, okay? I'm going to delete your question now. Your question in quotes. I'm going to delete it now. I wish I had seen it since I have deleted it actually. But, you know, funny enough, nobody even engages yourself. You dev after everything, nobody even liked your comment. And trust me, a lot of haters used to like comments, but you, they don't even like your own. <laughs> but yeah, if it is paining you that my life did not go the way you expected or that my life did not go the way your own life is going, that's your business, okay? Someone is asking how long did it take for our things to arrive, okay? Yes, that's an important question. So, our things left, I can't even remember when they left. They left uh, October 19th or something like that. And they got here January 20 something, okay? So it's roughly three months, not even roughly, yeah, it's about three months. I feel like that is part of why they told us not to put perishable items. I am not sure. Um, but yeah, I think I have answered most of your questions about, you know, getting a house here and uh, carrying our stuff from Nigeria here. But let me know if you have any more questions in the comment section. I will answer them once I post this video, okay? But yeah, let me go and change now and pretend like it's a new day and come back and answer another set of questions okay <laughs> bye guys